Hi friend, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra and uh, welcome to the residency. This video is applicable to every resident but more so to the surgical residents that is the surgery and ortho keeping in mind principally can be extended to every version. I have uh, tried to think of nine things that can make a difference over the next 30 years. Number one, which I have divided things are into the steps that you take. So I, I mean to say, step is a short distance. And uh, the moment you enter up uh, a residency, you want to do too many things. You know, it's, it's good to be acceptable and open to good thoughts. It's also very good to dream big, but then you have to understand that you have a physical limit. So the first thing that I want to tell you in these steps is you need to settle first. And before doing anything big, you need to understand the ground on which you're playing, right? You need to be very well versed with the pitch on which you're going to be there. So go slow, understand the environment, breathe the air in and out. I'm not saying that just block yourself, but restrict yourself. Physically do not burn yourself out, but mentally you should be like an eagle flying high. So the first point is Take steps, go slow. Physical, the limits have to be decided. Mental, go high. This is the first point. The second, you know, you have been uh, trying to set milestones over the last uh, so many years. When you were in 10th, you had kept in mind this should be your score. The moment that score came, you took a branch. In 12th, you wanted a better score. The moment you achieved a score in 12th, you wanted to get into MBBS. You have been delaying your enjoyment and celebrations. In MBBS, year to year, you have been draining yourself to pass. Right, and now you were worried that will I get my MS seat? Now you have that seat, but you're thinking about what next, you know, stop, comma, a little pause, enjoy this moment. These are the most important formative years of your career, your personal life, your personal growth. So live in these moments, enjoy, enjoy your success. You have come so far. You sometimes have to say, well done you have reached here. Not everybody reaches where you have reached. So enjoy. Next, as you move ahead, you know, during residency, over next few days, over next few weeks, you will realize there are lots of behaviors, lots of things happening around you. You have to intelligently pick up what exactly you want to do. You can't reach the bone without opening the skin, dissecting out things. It is layer by layer uncovering. Have that patience. Develop that temperament of a surgeon. You go to a marriage, there is a buffet, you pick up a plate, you can't just pour down everything at one go. Nobody has ever done it. So, take some things, finish that up, enjoy it up, take the next, and so on. So, what I mean to say is, space it up. This learning is a gradual process. It is not hit or run show. There is a training period. You have to go through it. And the last thing which I always tell everybody, which might be the most important out of the first group that I'm talking about, the steps. 
value time one habit which can create your image in the entire department in the entire hospital is if you are sincere people do not understand this small statement if you report 5 minutes early on your duty on your ot on your wards on your emergencies you are creating a big impression on your seniors on your teachers on your colleagues because there is somebody doing a duty a night before he is waiting for you to take over the charge those 5 minutes will mean huge to him because he knows that somebody understands the effort the other person has done if this habit of reaching just by 5 minutes early is imbibed in your behavior in the early years you will be a world leader remember that these are small steps let's talk about the strides a stride is actually double of a step so it is something that will take you ahead of this habits i have told you so what is actually a stride in this phase when you are entering you know every night when you will reach your room you will be filled with ideas every morning when you get up you will be thinking about this is what i want to do some people want to write articles some people want to learn new surgical approaches some people do want to write some books some people want to go to some other branch maybe but what people do not do is they do not act on what they have thought of in the strides you need to think you need to balance out identify what kind of human being you are what are your qualities and then act accordingly you know if you want to do something bigger be ready for that loneliness that you might have to go through identify will you be able to bear it pick yourself up be your best critic this is the time that you plan and you act this is the biggest stride one can take during my medical school during my residency i realized that there are three things that go hand in glove one is learning you know what is learning learning is acquiring a knowledge which you do after studying unlearning what you don't require learning something new it's like recreating your own version with your own hands you are a stone chiseling out yourself this is what is learning the beautiful line the learning never ends is something that summarizes all of us second this is a phase your heart beats you fall in love there are breakups there are patch ups but then there are personal turmoils there are personal gains that again is a part of learning but on a different front accept it because on earth humans exist and you are a human being with emotions with a body you will undergo everything that changes and everything is there to make a better version of yourself and one aspect which you should never ignore because that's in the future is going to be a major determinant and a major portion of your life is the love of your parents in fact uh, during residency is roughly the age you start understanding what they want to convey to you and that's the time you need to create a perfect balance between you yours and your family your hobbies your interest make sure one area is not fed up too much so that the other are starved because your family and friends your love life your career and your health these are the four areas on which everything will work 
they are the four wheels that run a human being if any of the wheel is not good you will have a malalignment it's very important that you do this at this age because this is the age where you will take decisions how you will live for next 40 to 50 years of your life and friends you know the image in a medical college which i spoke about about the sincerity about being on time is also determined at the same time and remember this is the age you have to be humble you have to be helping you have to understand there are bananas there are oranges there are apples each is a fruit they are all different there are variations in human beings you have to have acceptance do not learn to criticize anybody just on the basis of brain behavior looks ranks money you have to understand we all are beautifully aligned in a different way this is a time you have to understand that you are going to exist in this world as a social being too and if your behavior with others is helping if your attitude is positive the entire hospital environment in which you are working will help you establish your practice in your later life these are the people who will be referring their patients to you will be coming to you will value you finally if you lose hair where are you heading to and last is something you strive you know if you worry about the steps and strides you are going to do great but there are people who want more and you know this generation in which we are living today the times in which we are living today the new individuals that you people are right you want more just wanting more the universe will not provide you have to work more for it so i have put it into two steps right one you are in an environment you are working in india and you want to specialize into one particular field let's understand you want to be an arthroscopy surgeon or you want to be a bariatric surgeon think about this statement europe leads into surgical branches in india there are some places like mumbai where it's very good and then places which come next to it try to escalate what you want to do in the best place possible in the world go out traveling makes you see the world and the people it makes you see the technology it opens up your eyes you do not reach a mountain just because you want to climb it at the tip you reach the tip the summit of a mountain to have a better view of the world so have this thought in mind go to the best center possible do not restrict yourself don't be fearful you will have to stay without your family for some time not eat what you love every day but that's going to be worthwhile in the next 40 years so strive for the best possible place for the skill that is available in what you want to do what happens with this you are one of the best in the current time at least study wise but then how will you stand out being the best in what is happening will only help you survive in today's world but if you want to stand out you need to explore the world you need to explore your mind and you need to create something which is ahead of time anybody who has thought of ahead of time is the one who is going to be a leader and is going to reach finally the last 3% friends you have to pick up are the steps sufficient for you or the strides sufficient for you or the strive sufficient for you but the entire thing is based on the four wheels we should never be ignored take care of health as my mentor my teacher professor asantuli says swasth raho 
तभी तो सेवा करोगे यू नीड टू बी हेल्दी फिजिकली मेंटली सोशली देन ओनली यूल बी एबल टू सर्व द सोसाइटी दिस इज वन वैल्यू दैट योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द सेकेंड व्हील दैट इज गोइंग टू बैलेंस यू आउट द थर्ड व्हील इज द करियर दैट यू डेवलप विच यू आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड राइट नाउ and finally the final wheel is you yourself that's your extreme personal inner self at one particular of age you might have more career orientation the other things can be at the back but finally the summary is that if you take care of these wheels your car will not be malaligned this is what you should understand but remember this world is conquered by the people who have tamed their mind to go through the toughness that exist in escalating their knowledge you are going towards excellence you are adding a degree you are trying to escalate to the next level which is going up the pyramid and remember the higher it is the more is the pressure Thank you very much. <music>